Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. Now, fans are wondering, will Cardi B be next to get exposed? A lot of fans are calling out the double standard of women not getting exposed or going to jail for doing illegal activity um, like Cardi B, who has been open about her past and how she used to rob and give men substances back when she was a stripper, okay? Fans are saying that um, the Department of Justice needs to take action against Cardi B for crimes, robbery, and giving substances to men. Um, this post also tagged the NYPD, the Justice Department, um, and the New York FBI. Now, there is audio of Cardi B admitting to doing certain um, activity back when she was a dancer. She even admitted to it um, a few months ago. Yeah, I keep writing Cardi as whatever Rob man, whatever the crap. So what? I'll do it again. I feel bad for knowing it. Ash Miracle. I'll do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the Ash hotel. Miracle. And I drop me up and I rob them. That's what I used to Ash do. Ash Miracle. Nothing was not fucking happening to me while I was there. Nothing. Now, the evidence is out there. I just played it for you. And so um, fans are saying on social media, now this post got like 3.9 million views. They said, would a black woman be afforded the same leniency if she admitted to the same action? Why does Cardi B seem above the law? She's no different from Robert Kelly, Puff Daddy, Cosby, Ross, and Weinstein. How is Cardi B still allowed to be played on a radio station, feature on TV shows, perform live at venues across America? Well, she's definitely not doing that. She's not performing at no venues and retain her endorsement deals and contracts. Well, I'm going to tell you how. Um, because Cardi B doesn't have any victims that are coming out. Okay? See, Cardi B, whether she paid them off behind the scenes, which I don't think she has done, um, because she don't have enough money for that. She doesn't have any recent victims that are coming out saying she did X, Y, and Z. You need evidence for the FBI to go after anyone. And there's probably not enough evidence for, you know, the FBI or anybody in the criminal justice department to go after Cardi B as of right now. Now, moving on from that, Cardi B is calling out off the chain. She said a heart N-word will do the unthinkable. Then a fan said, don't worry, Cardi. Capital G-O-D is going to show out for you. And um, Cardi B responded and said, please, God, cover me from the evil I can't see. Now, if you guys remember, we talked about this yesterday. Off the chain was throwing shade. He said a B going to be a B and a hoe going to be a hoe. And allegedly that was towards Cardi B. So it seems as though they are having issues with their divorce. Or maybe it could be another PR stunt. I noticed when she pop outside, she going back and forth with Offset. Okay. It could be another PR stunt for Cardi B too. Now Cardi B also popped out for Paris Fashion Week looking a mess. I was like, did Shakira get terrible Botox done to her face? And no, it was Cardi B. Now, she said she was channeling her inner Shakira, but she really was channeling her inner Jocelyn Weinstein, okay? Um, that's her twin. She looked a mess. I'm sorry. This was a terrible look. Um, it definitely was not hidden. I thought this was a Halloween costume. I was like, Halloween's coming early for Cardi B. But yeah, she looked a mess. This is one of her worst looks of the year. You know, this kind of reminds me of her Met Gala look where she was dressed up like the Adams family. Okay, she looked a mess. And then on top of that, she did another look and it wasn't too great either. I was like, her stylist must be beefing with her secretly. She came out looking like a Christmas tree, um, decorations on the side of her ears. I was like, who is she supposed to be? The Grinch that stole the Botox? She looked a mess. The makeup wasn't good either, okay? She looked a little bit pasty. I don't know. I feel like her looks don't be hit. She used to be one of the best dressed female rappers in the game, and she is no longer that. 
She's no longer that. I'm sorry. Now, moving on from that, Doja Cat receives praise as being one of the GOATs. My GOAT rap is Biggie Tupac, Jay-Z, Eminem, Tyler the Creator, Lauren Hill. I'm going to throw Doja Cat in there. Sexy Red, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick. Hold on, wait. Did you say Doja Cat? Yeah, Doja Cat. All right, I was just making sure I heard that right. Now, I love Doja Cat, but she's definitely not a GOAT yet. She could be a GOAT in the future. She definitely is the princess of rap, but she's not the GOAT just yet, okay? She got a few more years in the game that she needs to do for her to be the GOAT. And then Sexy Red, ASAP Ferg, are you smoking crack? How is Sexy Red a GOAT, okay? You just mentioned Biggie, Tupac, and Camel Tone, you talking about Sexy Red? That don't even make no sense. And then you trying to put Sexy Red and Doja Cat in the same umbrella as Lauren Hill? Are you on that stuff? I'm sorry, ASAP. You might have to get Donkey of the Day. ASAP Ferg is getting Donkey of the Day. I'm sorry. That didn't make sense to me. Um, you know, I'm shocked he didn't mention Little Kim or Nicki. Nicki gave you one of the best verses for your catalog. Okay? Plain Jane Remix. That's all I play from you. That's the only song I play from ASAP Ferg is the Playing Jane remix and then also uh, Move My Hips. Those are the only two songs. Everything else is a chop. Sorry. I can't believe Nikki gave you two amazing verses and you do her like that. That was weird. Now, Cardi B seemingly goes off on Off the Cheat. They go f anything. But when I, when I start talking to right. you want to play those games with me? We're going to play them games too. We're going to play them games too. Since you want to threaten me, take, talking about you want to take my shit. You want to take my shit because I'm moving on? Move on. Move on. Why can't you move on? Why can't you move on? It's no fun when, when, when mama got the right? It's no fun when I'm slanging put right? Hmm. Now is now is now we now we're going to court 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 war, right? I'm gonna expose you. Oh, I'ma put them text messages that sort through your phone. I don't give a I'm gonna expose my own tea. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. Do that. You should be happy that I'm a real gangster ass. At the end of the day, I'm a real gangster ass. I'm a solid. So one thing I'm not gonna do to you ever is entertaining them. Your ops that be in my DMs trying to suck my. I will never do that because the op to you is I want you dead, and I don't want you dead because my kids love out of you, out of you. My kids love you down, so I will never do that. And I really follow gangster. I really follow street codes. I just gotta this better than you. Now, didn't Bia earlier this year expose Cardi B for cheating on Off the Cheat? Because that's what Cardi B just admitted to, that she's been cheating on Off the Cheat while she was pregnant. And in my video yesterday, didn't I say that I do believe Cardi B has cheated? She just hasn't gotten caught. I said that in my video yesterday. And then, um, you know, Bia also alluded to Cardi B cheating and Cardi B denied it. Put it on your game and things. What? Put it on your name since you so gangster like your fuck. Put it on your hubby since you love lying on your vows. Wow. This proves that Cardi B lied to people for months and Bill was right. Maybe off the cheat should get a DNA test because if she was sleeping around while she was pregnant, you know, that could mean possibly he not the father of the third child. No shade. Off the cheat accused her of effing someone while she was pregnant and she responded and said that she did it. So I think it would only be smart if off the cheat get a DNA test because if she was sleeping with somebody while she was pregnant, ain't no telling what she was doing before she got pregnant. Who's to say if off the cheat is really the father? You know, she is a stripper she has a reputation of being a hoe. You really can't trust Cardi B. And she is a lying Libra, just like SZA.
So if I was him, I would get a DNA test just to be safe because at the end of the day, Cardi B cannot be trusted. Now, Queen B and Camel Toe have been vindicated. So it has been reported um, by Devil Nation and in the 14-page indictment against Diddy that Queen B and Camel Face have not been named in the 14-page indictment against Diddy. The one detailed his freak-off parties that involved a thousand bottles of baby oil and not to mention the abuse that took place. So, you know, this is what's circulating around um, the internet that Queen Bee and Camel Face have been vindicated because they have not been named as one of Diddy's accomplices at his freak-offs, okay? Um, the only thing... Diddy still may snitch on them. You never know. To get less time in jail, he might start snitching and saying, listen, I got a long list of people who were around doing the freak offs, doing certain drugs, doing this and that, and he can start snitching. But all I know is Queen Bee is innocent. Camel Face is not, but Queen Bee is innocent. I don't believe Queen Bee has participated in any of this buffoolery um, willingly. I think she is a victim. Um, Camel Face took advantage of her innocence and the fact that she was young. You know, there is like a 13, 14 age difference between them and Queen Bee should be vindicated and get full immunity. Okay. Her husband, I don't think so. Now, it also has been reported that Katy Perry announced the Lifetimes tour kicking off in 2025, their first round of dates. Um, are going to be in Australia. I mean, who asked for this? How you flop and go on tour afterwards? Well, the female rappers are doing it. You know, the label got to recoup some money, you know, because they definitely didn't make what they put in this um, album or era, okay? That music video, the um, Wonder World or Wonder Bread music video, whatever she put out, that cost millions to make, okay? And, you know, no shade, she hasn't had a, hot single since probably what 2016 2015 so i do believe that um katie probably is in the red okay yes she got a lot of diamond hits but those are from like five to ten years ago we talking about what she doing now okay um right now she flopping and so i don't understand why she would need to go on tour but she probably do owe the label some money so this is their way of recouping the money um, let me know if you guys are going to go see Katy Perry on tour. I'm going to pass on this. Um, definitely not going to see Katy Cat. Um, why would I go see a flop? I mean, no shade. I mean, what am I going to sing on a Katy Perry tour? Of course, she got pass hits, but, you know, what new music is she going to perform that is a bop, okay? There's really not much. Now, Katy Perry also said in a recent interview that the former queen of pop, Madonna, is the greatest she said she paved the way. She said, every person, when you talk about me reaching out to younger artists, every female still needs to continue to say thank you to her because she's breaking down barriers, okay? Now, of course, Azalea Stinks had to put in her two cents because, you know, she don't got no job. That's why she owe money and got to pay her rent, you know, because she has allegedly been... um evicted several times she said grace jones kim queen b whitney houston shaka khan tina marie celine missy tony um spice eve um and she talked about spice from jamaica uh janet O, madonna nothing okay um so let me know how y'all feel about that i still think that you know, definitely Madonna paved the way, but she didn't pave the way for every artist. She paved the way for like Rihanna, you know, Gaga, definitely, um, Chappelle Roan, but she definitely did not pave the way for every artist, okay? But she definitely has impact, especially in pop culture. 
Now, moving on from that, Steve Lacey says he wants a Kung Fu Kenny collaboration to be featured on his upcoming new album. He said, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want a Kung Fu Kenny verse. We don't need a Kung Fu Kenny and Steve Lacey song. Who asked for this? I mean, now everybody want to work with Kung Fu Kenny because he hot. Um, allegedly, they already worked together with the song Pride, okay, which was on the damn album. But Steve Lacey, I can't really get into him like that. No shade. Steve Lacey is kind of corny to me, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. I can't explain it, but I don't really get into his music. I can definitely pass on the collaboration. If anything, um, maybe you can write some hooks for Kung Fu Kenny. You can write some hooks, you know, background vocals, but... We don't need a Kung Fu Kenny collaboration with you. Kung Fu Kenny needs to do another song with The Weeknd. Him and Rihanna need to do something together because loyalty is a bop. So we got to have Riri on something. And I also wouldn't mind him and J. Cole. Okay, because J. Cole apologized for dissing Kung Fu Kenny. So maybe they can do something together. Now, if you're asking what about Kung Fu Kenny and Nicki, if... Nikki didn't speak out about the um, Super Bowl situation, possibly, but I think her speaking out against the Super Bowl, her dissing Camel Toe, I don't know if he still would give her a collaboration because I was told that Camel Toe told Queen B, Kung Fu Kenny, and Rihanna to stay away from Nicki Minaj because she's bad for business. That's what Camel Face is telling people behind the scenes. To not have them work with Nicki Minaj and Kung Fu Kenny and Camel Fees are very close. Because they got the same enemy and the en enemy is Champagne Thickums. So I don't know if he still would ever work with Nicki Minaj. But I would be here for Doja and Kung Fu Kenny. She stole his flow anyway um, during the Scarlet era. She might as well work with Kung Fu Kenny if you're going to steal his flow. Now, moving on from that, Diddy's children have put out a statement. Now, Quincy, um, I think the two twins and King Combs have put out a statement. They said, we have seen so many hurtful and false rumors circulating about our parents. Ken Porter and Sean Combs' relationship, as well as about our mom's tragic passing, that we feel the need to speak out. Claims that our mom wrote a book are simply untrue. Well, she did write a book. It just never got published. Maybe y'all don't know that tea. But the tea is on Patreon. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, they said, The claims that our mom wrote a book are simply untrue. She did not. And anyone claiming to have a manuscript is misrepresenting themselves. Additionally, please understand that any so-called friend speaking on behalf of our mom or her family is not a friend, nor do they have her best interests at heart. Our lives were shattered when we lost our mother and she was our world, and nothing has been the same since she passed. Well, it has been incredibly difficult to reconcile how she could have been taken from us too soon the cause of her death has long been established. There was no foul play. Grief is a lifelong process. And we ask that everyone respect our request for peace as we continue to cope with the loss every day. We are deeply saddened that the world has made a spectacle of what has been the most tragic event of our lives. Our mother should be remembered for the beautiful, strong, kind, and loving woman she was. Her memory should not be tainted by horrific conspiracy theories. We ask that everyone please respect our mother, Kim Porter, and hold her legacy in high regard so that she may rest in peace and it is what she deserves. We love you and miss you, mommy. Okay, so that's what... The Combs children have put out. Now, um, yes, she does not have a published book out. You know, the person selling that fake book about Kim, you know, is a fraud. Okay. But she did write a book, but it's never been published. And I think, no shade, 
Diddy told him to put this statement out or Diddy's lawyer and probably Diddy's mom told him to put this statement out so that the case won't get reopened. Okay, because a lot of people were saying that Kim's passing needs to be investigated. And so by them putting that out, that means they don't want her death to be investigated. Okay, which would be helpful for Diddy because if that gets investigated, he definitely going down. So with that being said, this was a strategic move by Diddy's team. Congratulations. Only if they knew the truth. But that's neither here or there. The person that's putting out those fake books and and publishing them and people are buying them, you know, they could sue him. Because why is a friend putting out a book of Kim? That's wrong. They should sue that person. But I don't think the children know the truth about how horrific their father is. Because obviously, they're only seeing a certain version of him. So you can't even fault them. Okay, they're only seeing one version of him. But if they do an investigation, ain't going to be good for that man that's in the clink already. And I'm going to leave it at that. But anyway, you know, rest in peace, Kim. And hopefully, you know, these children get some healing. You know, it's probably been very traumatizing for them to lose their mother and, you know, their father going to jail. So, you know, hopefully they get some healing. And we wish them all the best. Now, Cardi B previewed some new music after all the controversy going on between her and Off The Cheat of her basically admitting to sleeping with other men while she was pregnant. And this is the new music that she has previewed on live. This nigga shit, please believe me. They gon' fuck these way too easy. Good for nothing, low down dirty dog. I'm convinced. Next time you see your mama tell her how she raised the side because it's hot out you was playing games you on time out what i'm fine i'm trying to find this i've been cuffed up too long let me remind it yeah that was a chop just like cardi b's marriage and her botch face yeah and i don't know i wasn't feeling that maybe we gotta put a beat behind it but acapella wasn't giving nothing no shade um but it looks like she will be using this divorce to roll out her album. Of course, she's going to preview a song where she doesn't off the cheat because that's the only time people tune in. Now, Offset responded to Cardi B's allegations, okay, and diss track technically. And off the cheat said, everybody can see I don't want you. It's okay. I'm not talking about this no more. All love. You will be calling me after a couple months. You my baby mom, I won, okay? Um, Botch and pregnant, I mean botch and bitter, um, responded and showed some text messages that really didn't prove much. Um, She said, everybody can see that I don't want you face as boy, please, okay? The text messages says, you don't want me. That is off the cheat. She says, not really. He says, Okay, you want somebody else? She said, off the, off the cheat and please. He says, okay, I'll leave you alone. She said, please and have a good night. Then he says, I just want to know, can I jack off with you on the phone? Okay, so that's what he has said yesterday. But my whole thing, that didn't really prove him saying that he wants you, though. Okay. Um, him asking you about if you want him has nothing to do about how he feels. Uh, you know, one thing about Cardi B, she never really gives out receipts. She'll like post things that you she thinks that people are dumb and people think are receipts. And these really aren't receipts. Like, girl, where was, is the text message where he says he wants you? I didn't see that. If that man wanted you so badly, why is he always cheating? That don't make sense to me. Then here goes Jade. Oh my goodness. Jade, don't be messy now. She decided to go on Instagram and say, God is good after all this drama that happened. Okay? Now, if you don't know who Jade is, Jade was the girl that got the bottles knocked upside her head for sleeping with off the cheat. You know, Cardi B hired two men to throw bottles at Jade, and I think it was her sister or cousin or best friend, whatever. 
And, you know, they ended up in the hospital. They, um, you know, pressed charges against Cardi B. Cardi B only got two weeks of community service. So that was a chop. She didn't really get in trouble. Now, moving on from that, um, Scratch Off um, gets an opportunity of a lifetime. Derek did this song, right? Yeah. yeah. Is that H&M? Mm. Yeah. Derek did this song, you guys. Yeah. If I ever do a documentary about my life, Lotto definitely has to play me. Now, who told Black China she was important enough to get a documentary or some sort of biopic? Ain't you a has-been stripper turned Instagram model? <laughs> oh, my goodness. She thinks she important enough to get a biopic. Like, girl, please. There are a lot of strippers that were more memorable than you, okay? You are not that girl anymore. Your biggest claim to fame is sleeping with Rob Kardashian and Tyga, okay? We don't really care what you got going on. I do not want to see a biopic or documentary of your life. But I will say that Scratch Off and Black China do look the same age, okay? No shade of Scratch Off. She do look old in the face sometimes. And they do look the same age in Black China in her mid-30s, I believe. She's older than Scratch Off, a lot older. So with that being said, I can see why she said that um, Scratch Off should play her in, um, you know, her biopic. But anyway, let me know how y'all feel about it. I got some hot tea on Patreon. Link would be in the description. And have an amazing day.